As the sun starts to set, we're going to see how much light is left by the end of this early evening game here on the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks for joining us, everyone. With my partner, Brock Heward, I'm Kate Scott. And like so many matchups in the NFL, Brock, our focus goes right to the quarterbacks in this one. Both of these guys, players who've been around the league now for some time, they've definitely established themselves as veterans who know how to win football games. The punter, Jack Fox, to get this one started. And off we go from Dallas. Here's Cavante Turpin on the return. Tackle made as the return gets it out to the 32. Well, here come the Cowboys for their opening drive. Bringing them out is a Mississippi State fourth round pick in 2016 who's found considerable success in this league, Dak Prescott. We're not for some guy named Lamar Jackson up there in Baltimore. I think Dak Prescott would have won MVP last year. Had his best season statistically. Total control of that Cowboy offense. Over 4,500 yards. And remember, he led in touchdown passes with 36. And we know what it's all about in Dallas. It's not what you do in the beginning. It's how it finishes. And can you take those steps in the playoffs? These guys have gotten off to a hot start, Brock, in spite of these injuries that have occurred along the way. You know what, Kate? If you and I traveled to every training camp, I think we'd hear the same thing. Next man up. Next man up. These teams know it. The players know it. You hear the talk, but then you got to walk it, and this team is. I know it's early, but this is looking like a group who could be built for a playoff run as long as this list doesn't grow too much longer. Prescott now to throw on third down. This gets the first and more. Give him 24 on that play. And it'll be first down, Dallas. Now the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll bowl his way ahead for a four-yard pickup. You know, this is an offense that will emphasize the ground game at different points of each and every contest. And as long as they can reliably get gains like this, it's not going to change anytime soon. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Prescott here from the gun. Oh my, oh my, it's intercepted in the end zone. Kirby Joseph picks it. Not a lot of one play swings bigger than that one right there. That throw looks destined for six, and instead, it gets intercepted by the defense. The only way to get bigger is if he somehow returned it 100 plus yards for six the other way. But what a gigantic swing of emotion. So the Lions take the field for their first drive. They're let out by someone who's fought through the doubters all through his career, and he just keeps putting up numbers. Jared Goff. Kate, there are other flashier quarterbacks that make more highlight real plays than Jared Goff. There certainly are bigger and stronger athletes playing the position today, but Jared's just a throwback, a guy that understands the timing and the precision. I love that he knows what he is and he, what he isn't when it comes to his skills. And it's why he's been able to flourish in multiple places and why he continues to sustain a lot of success in this league. To throw again here, second and ten, it's gone. Gets this one to Patrick. Here we go, third and less than a yard. They go play action with golf. No place to go, so he just threw it away. On comes Jack Fox to handle the fourth down punt for the Lions. And he's calling for a fair catch, which is made at the 33-yard line. The Cowboys and quarterback Dak Prescott ready to get back to work. And he's been more than just his work as a passer this season. Look at this. He's gotten the job done on the ground as well. Second among NFL quarterbacks in rushing yards. Throwing on first is Prescott. Ferguson's got it. Complete. There's no negatives ever on a great sheet for a completion, but that's one of those situations. If you're going to take a risk and throw an out route, you'd sure like to see a little bit more yardage gained. Here's second and seven. This finds Cooks. Complete. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Ball on the 45. First and ten. Elliott straight ahead. 
And he's brought down for a loss. This is one of those situations, Kate, where I watch the body language of the running back because it'd be very easy for him to raise his hands up, look to the sideline and his O-line and go, what am I supposed to do there? There was nothing, no time at all to try and escape and react. Instead, it goes backwards. A gain of four for them, and that sets up third and seven. Prescott will look to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's going to be drugged down, looks like, at that 37-yard line. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Markers reset, ball at the 37. Here's Prescott, first and 10. Tight end reels in the shallow throw. And he's going to be brought down at the 35-yard line. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Elliott running out of the gun. And he got it real close, but stopped just about a yard or so shy of that first down. Third down, one yard to go. Prescott set to pass. That's going to be caught by Cooks. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. Running the counter, Elliott. And the power play up the gun only results in two yards. I think one thing you learn, Kate, when you transition from college to the NFL, not every run is going to be a big play. Some of them, well, they're just destined to end in a minimal gain, and some of them will set up that critical play action for later. And he'll go down. Looks like they're marking him at the 11. Third and a lone yard coming up. Handoff running right, Elliott. And his short game gets them a new set of downs. They get two on the play, and now they've got first and goal. All right, still scoreless through one quarter, but that looks like it's going to change pretty soon. Hopefully no shortage of excitement coming up. Time for our second quarter now. Let's see if the Cowboys can capitalize here in the red zone. First and ten, Prescott. On him quick, and they bring him down. Good pressure from the defense there has them trending in the wrong direction. Oh... First and goal, you take a sack. I got nothing good to say about that. So let me flip it over on the other side where you got everything good to say. That's exactly what you want to do. You want to get them behind the sticks. You want to knock them backwards. And now you put a whole lot more pressure on that offense to respond. Quarterbacks will look for their tight end short in just about any situation. They take away the deeper options. Now oh, there's their consistent source of positive yardage, the trusty. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas. The Cowboys get the game's first points here in the second. C.D. Lamb with the touchdown. That one splits the uprights. And they add one on to their first touchdown of the contest. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Khalif Raymond to return it. This return makes it up to the 25. So the Lions headed after their second drive of the game. Still in search of their first points as we work our way through the middle of this game. The score 7-0. They're out and set. First and 10. Patrick going to motion over left. First down throw from Goff. St. Brown's got it. Complete. And this one gets to the 33-yard line before it's stopped. Second and three now. The play clock ran all the way down there, and this is going to cost the offense. Delayed game. Offense. 
Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Still second down. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Running it after the penalty. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. I know from the position of the quarterback, Kate, sometimes you hand that ball, you put it in the belly of the running back, and you send him right into the teeth of a buzzsaw. You can feel it from the jump, and that call from the defense, that came at the perfect time. I'm just going to say, maybe not the guy you want to pick on in coverage on this particular series. He gets a hand on that throw and knocks it away the next time, or he could get two hands on it and take it the other way. Punt team is on now, and they get this away. Calls fair catch and has it inside the 40-yard line. The Cowboys and Ezekiel Elliott just about set to get going on offense. And you can see where the stats there. Such a weapon for this offense to utilize week in and week out. Off the play fake, it's Prescott. Catch made by Cooks. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Wow, they get a big old 32 yards out of that play, as well as a new set of downs. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position. By hitting on that shot, you've totally flipped the field and the tone of this drive. Elliott's on first and ten. And they love to see him fighting forward, but he only gets him three. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. A solid gain of six there. It's going to be third and just a yard. Dak now from the gun. That's Lamb running the slant. And they make the stop as that play reaches the 14-yard line. Six yards on the play and enough for a first. You're not going to last long in the National Football League if you don't convert a good chunk of your third downs. Nice find there to continue the series. They run it from the gun with Elliott. And he has it down to the eight-yard line on the play. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Here's Dak. It's caught. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. They like to say it's about the Jimmys and the Joes. I think that's about the X's and the O's. That's a well-drawn-up completion that nets them a first down. From the gun is Prescott. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas! The Cowboys take a 13-0 lead. Well, we all know that he's somebody they like to have working down near the end zone, Brock, and there is so many ways they know how to use him down there. Yeah, things are constantly different down there when you're trying to defend him, which is what makes defending him so tough, borderline impossible at times. He can make the smallest little tweaks to his round just like a receiver would, and it's a totally different animal, a nightmare for these defenses. That one right down the middle. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Here's a return from the seven. He's got a lane up past the 30. And it's a nice return here. They'll tackle him shy of the 35. Now the Lions offense gets ready to return to the field. And it's far from the first time we're seeing this unit head out, Brock. But what we haven't seen so far in this opening half, no, we haven't seen much in terms of yardage. No, it's like they've written a few lyrics, but nowhere close to a song yet. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Off play action, gone. St. Brown there to bring it in. And they can't jump to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. 
What to the two minute warning from AT&T. The Lions facing a deficit near the break. Here's first and 10 from the 34. Out of the shotgun, gone. Got Williams and it's complete. And they bring him down. Looks like he got it to the 27. Second and three now. Throwing again, it's gone. Into the hands of Gibbs. And he gets this down to the 13 yard line. They'll get 14 yards and a new set of downs. They have themselves another first and 10. Williams coming in motion right. On first down, it's gone. And oh, someone stepped in, it's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. Space, left sideline, and he's off to the races. And the Cowboys will take over as he records his first interception of our season. I don't know about you, but I'm a little surprised that one didn't make it all the way back for six. Took some amazing effort from the guys making the tackle to save a touchdown, but still an outstanding return from a defense that sensed they needed the big play, and they found it. The Cowboys taking over on offense. Not much time left before halftime. Eddie on a modest little winning streak here. Currently in position to stretch it to three games as they take the field again. First down, here's Dak. He brings it in. And they bring him down at the seven yard line. Well, that's a modest little drag route, but if you ever just need a safe, short gain on a throw, that's a go-to route to target. Second and six coming up here. Working out of the gun, it's Prescott. And he will score, touchdown Dallas! The Cowboys boat racing them to the halftime locker room. Well, this machine has been firing on all cylinders this game, partner. And it continues firing as that lead grows yet again. And those who've tried to get in the way of that machine you're talking about, namely the defense, well, they've paid the price over and over and over again. For the point after, here's Aubrey. That one splits the uprights. And they'll continue adding to their lead. Aubrey now to kick this one away. Returning it from the four. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The Lions going to go on offense here late in the half. And losing by three scores, they'll have a final chance to take at least three off the deficit before halftime. Short pass caught by his tight end. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Here's second and five. That one is caught left side of the field. A gain of 27 yards there. And that gives the Lions the first. Every tight end worth his salt wanted this. Really craved man-to-man -man coverage. The best of them, give me man-to-man -man coverage and I'm going to beat you. I was around Dallas Clark and Indy, one of the best. You play man-to-man, -man, he's going to find a way to out-leverage you, separate from you, and make a play just as that tight end did. Goff on first and ten. Fires over the middle, caught. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. Second and three now. From the gun, gone. That one doesn't find its man incomplete. I mean, you could see it right there. The trajectory of the ball changed as it was in flight. You know, on shorter throws, receivers, they could focus, they can adjust quickly. But on a long distance throw like that, a tip, well, it really alters the course of the ball and makes it so tough to make an adjustment in time. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. A timeout taken here by the Lions. That's their third. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. Shotgun snap here to go. 
And he's just going to get rid of this one. Smart move there. When you saw the field, it's going to be second down. Still sticking with the passing game. Short pass caught by his tight end. And this one doesn't go far. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. So we've hit the end of two. The Cowboys fighting to the halftime lead here in Dallas. Now we'll send you east to our studios in Orlando. That's where Jonathan Coachman is waiting to bring you the E. Fans are ready. Let's give the people what they came here for. We'll jump past halftime and get right back to the game. He's going to field this at the two. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Here comes the offense for Detroit to begin the second half. And that first half, they just couldn't keep up the pace, but they're going to be the ones setting the pace here to begin this third quarter. They go play action with Gaunt. Pressure coming, and they take him down. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? They built this type of lead for themselves because that's actually, Kate, their first sack of the game. And that's why smart front offices and complete teams build a well-rounded roster. That way, if a core component like the pass rush today isn't there, well, the other areas of the team pick each other up. After the sack, another pass on second down. He's throwing deep to the left side. He's got it complete. And a huge run comes to an end as he heads out of bounds. Wow. Big play gets him across midfield, sets him up first and 10 from the 40. Goff back to throw. He's trying to go deep again. He makes the catch. And they will score. Touchdown, Detroit. The Lions cut into the lead coming out of halftime. It's a Jameer Gibbs touchdown. If you're going to complete that one successfully, Brock, you need the perfect throw. Just the right touch. And you also need a guy who can go up and get it just like that. Yeah, need to be able to muscle somebody off the ball if you're not alone. And call me a little biased. Go ahead. I don't care. <laughs> you're biased. But the success of that play does come down to the timing of the throw, Kate. Uh -huh. If you don't throw it on time to that exact spot, you run out of room, and you don't give yourself that kind of chance. On the return, here's Rico Dowdle. Now bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. The home teams are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And as we're reminded of some of the highlights of this game, is touchdowns ranking quite high among them. We're going to see three of them here, and if you're scoring like that, Brock, it normally means you've had a pretty darn good game. First and 10 now from the 30. First play, they go quick out to the left, complete. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Here's Prescott, first and 10. Oh, he's in trouble here, he'll go down, the Lions got him. And the big play drives them backwards, second down coming up. My goodness, was that some kind of speed off the edge. There's only a handful of tackles in this league that have the lateral movement to stay in front of an end like that. It may be time for this quarterback to start mixing up his cadence, his count, certainly making sure this defensive end can't get off the way that... Forces that one, and it's intercepted! Brian Branch has it! Well, Brock, they left the locker room in front. Great position to be in, right? But a shaky start to half number two with that interception right there. We know that no lead in this league is safe ever, ever, ever. A one-point lead, something that looks insurmountable. They all seemingly come down to the final possession anyway. And with a whole half of football left, you just can't give away too many possessions like that. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. From the 43. Laporta with the grab. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He finds Laporta. 
And they'll advance this down to the five yard line. In a good spot here, second and inches. Gibbs now from the gun. Juke the defender. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Four downs now to get in. Here's first and goal. Another one for Gibbs. And he will get this to the end zone for a Detroit touchdown. The Lions parlay the interception into points. It's a Jameer Gibbs touchdown. He's throwing for it. And he goes down. The pressure gets home, and they will not take another two off that lead. You spend all week on two-point plays, trying to get to your best options, but ultimately, sometimes the execution of that pass, it doesn't work. So after making this a five-point ball game, they kick it off. Short kick here, fielded at the 17. And great starting field position here as they bring him down beyond the 40. Offense headed back out there now for Dallas. They've certainly had no issue scoring, but their opponents have been right there with them. So they can really use some more points on this drive. And that tackle stops him after a solid game. It's a four-yard pickup, and that's going to bring up second and six. Dak now from the gun. Throw complete to Lamb. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. He manages a gain of eight there. And that's good for a Cowboys first down. Prescott here from the gun. Catch made by Cooks. And they make the stop. We're going to say it about the 37-yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. Working from the pistol, Prescott. He puts the power on a deep one left. He's got his man complete. And he will score. Touchdown, Dallas. The Cowboys hold an 11-point advantage. Well, in a close game, they needed somebody to make that type of play. Now it pushes their lead to a couple of scores and makes a comeback that much more difficult. You know, Kate, their offense did its part and padded the lead. Now it's up to this defense to make this two-score lead hold up and carry it across the finish line. Aubrey now to kick this one away. His return starts at the five. He stopped on the return at the 27. The Lions headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. First down throw from Goff. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. They bring the tight end in motion. Goff trying again on second and ten. That one hits the ground incomplete, but a flag also hit the ground. Let's sort this out. He was too far downfield at the time of the pass. Gotta stay within a yard of the line. That'll back him up. Second and fifteen. Safe Brown's got it. Complete. And he's brought down after a nice gain and a first down. Now gone. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Off the gut they go with Gibbs. And he'll have it down to the 44-yard line. All set up now for first and ten. Again, it's Gibbs. And he won't salvage that. It's a loss on the play. 
I talked to a bunch of different GMs, Kate, especially around draft time, and they all say the same thing. Linebackers are so hard to find. It's hard to transition from the college game that's in so much space to this game where you've got to play in a phone booth yet, have that explosiveness to chase a play on the outside down like that linebacker just did. Let's see what they went with on third down. Just one quarter remaining in this one. It's Lions ball. They come in trailing, but that lead is within reach. This offense looking to convert as they come up on third down. Out of the shotgun, call. He has the first over the middle. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. They send one of the tight ends in motion right. On first down, it's gone. Oh, on him quick there, and they bring him to the turf. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. Williams coming in motion right. Trying again, following the sack. St. Brown there to bring it in. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They bring a tight end in motion right. First and goal. Here's Gibbs. And he's brought down by a collective effort there. Only one yard on the carry. It's second and goal. From the gun, Kong. It's caught, and he takes it down to the two, but no touchdown yet. He's out of bounds. On third and goal, gone. And they will score. Touchdown, Detroit. The Lions now within one score in the fourth. All right, so the offense does its job, Brock. Now they need their defense to give them a chance to overcome that big deficit. The momentum in the building's clearly changed. We can feel it here in the booth, but you're right. It's now up to the defense to make a stop and give them a chance. So after making this a five-point ball game, they kick it off. This taken from the 12. He lost the football, and the fumble recovery is made. And they limit the damage on the return, but it is still a turnover. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Got to the air now. It's taken in by Williams. And they stop him. He's marked down along that 18-yard line. All right, I'll set up now. First and ten. From the red zone now. That's knocked away by a defender. Incomplete. That one doesn't make it beyond the line. And now it's second down. They'll toss it to Gibbs. And he's got a decent gain before being brought down. Third and four coming up now. Shotgun snap here to go. He brings it in. And he drives this forward to the six. They'll break the huddle and come up on first and goal. Gone. And they will score. Touchdown, Detroit. The Lions take a fourth quarter lead. Exactly the play they were looking for, Brock. They saw it, and he put it right on the money. Yeah, it really was a perfect play. This is what it looked like in practice, but more importantly now to get it done in game time, that's what you're looking for. And he's going to be taken down for the sack. They can't even get a throw away on that two-point try. Oh, this is so tough, Brock. You understand what he was trying to do, make something happen, ended up outside the pocket, but 
even some added creativity can't yield two points here. When you get down here on these two-point conversions, the real estate just gets gobbled up in a hurry. Not only for the QB, but the receivers as well. Only so much time to try to make something work before that defender said, not in my house. Trying an inside give to Elliott. And they sent it straight ahead, but the front stops him after a gain of three. Second down now, seven to go. From the gun is Prescott. Fires over the middle, caught. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Third down, one yard to go. He's back to throw. He goes back to him yet again, complete. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. First down, here's Dak. And the Lions get him, down he goes! And the big play drives them backwards. Second down, coming up. We've reached the two minute warning from Dallas. Cowboys trail by just one. All right, here we go, second down. Another try following the sack. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Looking to throw it. It's caught, Ferguson. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Handoff headed left to Elliott. And he runs this one down across the 35 and inside the 30. Cowboys have to get moving here. Clock's still running. Escapes the puck. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. The Cowboys signaling for their first time out. And they'll take a moment to ponder what the call's going to be on third down. Chuck running here, he's past the 30. And he has it down to the 26 yard line. Signals and looks like we've got a timeout before that first down play. Running left, it's Elliott. And he's able to take this down to the red zone. He stopped at the 17. Now the Lions calling a timeout, they're first. Now to throw. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. No connection on the last play. And now it's third down. Going with Elliott here. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. Timeout taken by the defense. They're second. Going to the ground again on first. And they're able to grind him to a halt after a pickup of four. The defense takes its third and final timeout. On second down, a run with Elliott. And he's short of the first after a mild game. Third and just two to go. Here he is to throw. Complete beyond the marker. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. They'll run here with Elliott. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. So a big kick coming up for Brandon Aubrey. It doesn't get much easier than this. That one is good! And that, folks, is your game winner! That field goal gives them the lead for the moment, Kate, but you don't feel comfortable when you look up at that scoreboard. This one isn't over, and that lead certainly isn't safe. And he opts not to bring this one out, so they're going to enjoy some good starting field position from the 30. One final shot here. Finds Laporta. And he's out of bounds beyond the 35-yard line. So the Cowboys take the win here in Arlington. And it took everybody at the end. First to set up that field goal, and then for him to go out and win it with that accurate kick.
It wasn't a dominating win by any means, partner, but a great show of resiliency to fight back and steal it away. So for Brock Heward, our incredible crew, everybody here at EA Sports, I'm Kate Scott signing off. We'll see you next time.